What's going on YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. And today, I want to talk about how you can get your brand into local stores. All right, before I get into that, though, y'all make sure y'all check out my intro. All right, now check this out. We back. Now, I know some of you guys want to know how you can get, you know, your garments and stuff into these stores. All right. It's really not. It's not as hard as you may think it is. All right. You just got to have the gift of gab. All right. You got to know how to uh, how to market yourself. Pretty much all you have to do is. Right. I don't know what kind of brands you guys are out there doing, but find a location, a store, whatever, that you know sells similar things to what you're selling, all right? And you can go two options. You can either present it to a manager or the owner of the store and say, hey, listen, this is what I got. How can I get my products in your store? And you guys negotiate, okay? You can either give the store some of, your, some of your pieces at a wholesale price or you could do a percentage. Now I do both. So it all depends on, you know, the, the location and um how much you know I want to make at the time. All right, now now what's gonna happen is uh you don't you don't you don't ever want to put yourself in a position where you're not making a profit. Okay, now let's say you're giving let's say you're giving this store you know some of your some of your pieces at a wholesale price even though you're giving them the pieces at a wholesale price less than what you normally sell them for retail you still always want to make a little bit of profit okay now that doesn't mess up your retail uh price because everything you're going to be selling at retail you're going to be selling yourself anyways via online or or ho however you're trying to sell it okay so um, it's up to them once you give, once you sell, once you sell them the pieces at wholesale, it's up to them how much they want to charge for your particular items in their store. Okay. Let's say you're selling your item at a hundred bucks, right? But you're giving it, but you're giving them your pieces at a wholesale price of, let's say, uh, 60, now, if they want to sell your price, if they want to, excuse me, if they want to sell your pieces at a hundred bucks and keep it consistent with what you're selling them at retail, cool. But if they want to sell them at 110, 120, hey, that's on them. You already made your money because you you gave it to them at a wholesale price. So you're really not losing anything. All right. Your retail price will still stay the same because you're still shaking and moving however you're selling your stuff um either out of your out of your own personal store if you have a store or if you're selling online okay so all you have to do is you know link up kill your local market kill your local market so go to these little local stores and um just negotiate talk to like i said talk to the manager or talk to the owner and just you know pitch Give them a sales pitch. Let them know. Uh, let them know who you are. Let them know what you're trying to do. Uh, you know, give them your life history. <laughs> let them know that you're a local kid from the community. You got this brand, and you're trying to come up and um, you know get more customers, and how you can help them out. Okay, bring more traffic to uh, their location. You guys are pretty much gonna partner up and um help each other out okay so it's really not that hard and you know if you can get into the local small stores eventually you know you can get into your big stores as well using the same pitches you know this is what i do this is what i'm about i can give you these pieces at this wholesale price 
or we can do a percentage of the sales okay so that's pretty much how you get your items into these stores i learned that honestly the way i learned that is pretty much because where i'm from uh one of my one of my uh one of my friends has a store and um i put my stuff in his store first and you know we pretty much negotiated all right but then i used the same i used the same negotiation tactics and i used it you know for other stores i just recently uh linked up with a new store and that was via word of mouth from one of my friends you know one of my friends was like he was like listen man there's a there's a store on so-and-so location um you should try to get some of your stuff in the store and i didn't even i didn't know anything about this particular store you know so i went down there you know i gave him my pitch and the rest is history man you just gotta learn how to talk man you know the saying closed mouths don't get fed and that's the truth so once again if you guys are looking for ways to get your items your brand into these stores you gotta have a pitch gotta have a pitch can't be afraid to talk can't be afraid to negotiate and like i said you could do wholesale or you can do percentages all right retail that's that's up to you guys where you can get where you can get it to a point where you're selling your items out of somebody else's spot uh, for retail, if you can do that, kudos to you. But the majority of the time, they're going to ask you, okay, what are you going to do for me? What can you do for me? All right, so that's it for this video. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. And I truly appreciate you guys. Skip. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, Choose your own path.